Hey, welcome back. Today we're gonna make a cute breakfast tray. Well, not cute, it's supposed to be pretty and manly because this is for my husband for Father's Day. Uh, we, I've always wanted to make one of these and they can be really useful, especially for my husband and I, not because we eat breakfast in bed, but because we really enjoy watching TV shows and movies together on the couch at home. And so this makes it easy for us to take in our dinner or little snacks or whatever we want. We really like eating uh, a little uh, baguette with a rotisserie chicken. That's our favorite. Anyway, we thought this, I thought that this tray would be really helpful and that he would like it. And this is my chance to make one. So I'm gonna show you how to make one. These are really, really simple and easy. I gathered some wood that we had laying around the property, not outside, this was in our uh, scrap pile. Uh, inside it's really clean, nice wood. As you can see, it's all sl uh, slatted together. Uh, I believe it belonged underneath a mattress. And last night I de-stapled it to get the, um, the nylon off. So I've got my little pile of de-stapled. All those little noises are my two-year-old daughter over there playing. These are the tools that I'll be using. Good old power drill. I'll get my battery on there. And some bits. Now this is really cool. It's a it's a pocket hole joiner that my husband got a few years ago and he loves it and I love it too. Now the downside is this pocket hole joiner is made for bigger slats of wood, um, thicker wood because it makes big holes and I was worried that this wouldn't work at all for my breakfast tray but if I have a natural talent it's making things that shouldn't work work. <laughs> I don't know if that's a talent I think it's more of a a will where there's a will there's a way and I'm gonna make it work so anyway I did some testing last night I took some of the same wood and I used the pocket hole joiner to drill in some holes and use the screw uh, screws this is a really big bit and this is really narrow wood but somehow it still actually worked really well so we're gonna be using the pocket hole joiner to get nice beautiful uh, joints without showing any screws on the outside. According to my scribbles here, I'm going to make seven boards that are 18 inches wide because that's how wide I want my breakfast tray and I'm going to make two boards that are 12 and a quarter inches wide. There we go. So that'll help with the sides as well as the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure that out. And just a reminder, all these measurements that I'm doing are going to be in the description. So go ahead and check them out if you need a quick reference on all the sizes. And I promise this is actually a really easy craft and there are other ways to, to hold it together without a pocket hole joiner. You can just use screws. You can just get them in there, especially with a, a pilot hole if you've got really narrow wood. This also really works for thicker slats of wood, deeper ones, and that would make it easier with um, regular screws. But you can use this with any size wood. So go ahead and give it a try. I got the bottom done and I love it. I love how smooth and no screws are coming through, which is a miracle. I decided that it wasn't quite big enough, not quite wide enough, so I made a sixth board and attached it on like so. Uh, I figured the original measurements, which I did get off the internet for a standard breakfast tray, 
it was a little small and you can't really put much on it so I added an extra board and I'm glad I didn't cut the uh, sides uh, because now I've got to readjust my measurements but that's okay that's quick and easy and in the description will be my updated measurements for this board and maybe I'll include the measurements for the original board as well just in case you want to keep it nice and small and we're gonna go measure the sides now and we'll get those on and we'll get on our pre-stain, which I have. This project may end up costing me nothing, which would be amazing. So I found my pre-stain, I got some more of that. You definitely want to put on pre-stain before stain. Now that especially applies for when you're using a dark stain. If you put a dark stain like this directly on the wood, especially a nice soft porous wood like this one, I've done it before and it turns it almost black and then you can't even see the pretty color or the wood grain because it's pretty much black. So you'll want to put on your pre-stain and I believe you got to wait about 15 minutes, wipe it off and then we can go ahead and put on our stain. So that'll be exciting. I'll be able to get on the stain and then you got to wait a while, like a day or so, and then we'll get on our polyurethane. This is a nice matte interior. I was hoping for a gloss. So if I run to the store, if I get to the store at some point, I might grab a gloss varnish. But for now, we're going to use our matte polyurethane and it's going to be gorgeous. I mean, manly and handsome. Right. Our tray is all done except for the handles which I'll put in after the staining process. We're ready for our pre-stain. It says to let this soak on the wood for 5 to 15 minutes and then we'll be ready for the stain. It's all done! I love it! I love it. I love the handles. I think it looks gorgeous. And people always love it when you make things rather than just buy them. I almost did this for free. Um, I love making things with stuff around the property. But I did spend $6 on these lovely handles here. And instead of going with the matte finish polyurethane that I had, I put on a coat and it was all right, but I really like the glossy look. So I did run to Walmart and then I grabbed a glossy polyurethane. So I did spend $6 on that, but it was well worth it. I love the gloss. And let's be honest, this tiny little bottle is gonna last me a long time and cover a lot of projects. So please, please subscribe. I can't wait to share more fun things with you. We have so many more projects to do. So please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next video.